Hi, my name is Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 5, Lesson 1. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. This says, I can build solid figures using unit cubes. The learning objective is understand unit cubes and how they can be used to build a solid figure. The prior learnings is students measured area by counting unit squares, and students expressed areas in square units, such as square meters, square inches, and square feet. Okay, so moving on to the spark your learning, as a word problem that says, Alexandra is volunteering to stack boxes of soup cans at a community food bank. She stacks the boxes to form the right rectangular prism shown. Make visual models to show three other ways that Alexandra can stack the boxes to form right rectangular prisms. Okay, so to help with this lesson, I have actual unit cubes. If you don't have these at home, that's totally fine. You're just going to have to do your best drawing squares in the green box on your page. Okay, so to show the configuration that she already has with her brown boxes in the image, she has six on top and six on bottom. All right, so my top row is going to be green and my bottom row is going to be yellow, showing this configuration that she already has. Our job is to create three other ways using the same amount of squares. Okay, so knowing me, I like to balance things, right? So I'm going to try doing one box on the floor and see how many I can get balanced right on top of each other. Okay, same amount of squares, same amount of cubes, different configuration. All right, so if you were trying to draw that, you would just draw 12 squares right on top of each other to show this image here. All right, if we wanted to try another one, maybe let's break these in half, right? So we did two on top of each other, two on top of each other. It's pretty much all we can do with the six and six. So let's make a different amount and let's break them in half. So now I have three, three, making my six and another three and three. So now I have a three on the floor with four stacks high. All right, so let's go ahead and draw that. So three across with four stacks just like that. All right, what if we were to take that same configuration and just whoop, flip it over? All right, so now if you can kind of see, we have four on the floor. Let me try this. Four on the floor and three high. All right, same configuration. So we had three on the floor, four high. Now we have four on the floor and three high. So let's go ahead and try to draw that. So four going across and three rows repeating of that. Notice we have the same amount of boxes in every single picture, the configuration is just different. Showing that volume can show up differently, right? But you're always gonna have the same amount of unit cubes. You're always gonna have the same amount of volume even if it shows up in different ways, okay? So let's go ahead and jump onto the next page for the build your understanding. Number one says, Carlos and Kelly are building store di displays in the shape of right rectangular prisms using cube-shaped boxes of the same size. So it tells you already that these boxes are the same size, right? It doesn't give you inches, um, meters, feet. It's just unit cubes, okay? When it says same size, it just means unit. We're not getting anything specific, right? The displays are shown in blue is Carlos and red is Kelly. I'm gonna go ahead and have you pause the lesson and try this entire page, see how far you can get, and then come back and we'll go through it together. All right, welcome back. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my unit cubes. If you didn't have unit cubes and you just drew it on your paper, that is totally great. For Carlos's display, I have my two, as many blue squares as I can. So the front is gonna be dark blue and the back is gonna be light blue, showing depth here. Okay, so use unit cubes to make visual models. Here is um, Carlos's display, right? Two on the floor, four high, 
with two stacks, right? One in the front and one in the back. So here's Carlos's. And then Kelly's display is red. She has a four on the floor with two stacks repeating with the same thing right behind, right? So that's being shown with the orange for this one, showing depth again for volume. All right. So in B, how many cubes are in each visual model? Well, if you wanted to, we could just count. If you want to do your length times width times height, that's great too. For right now, I'm just going to count. So my dark blue, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus eight is 16. So in Carlos's, I have 16. And Kelly, watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, 16. All right, so for C, think of the length of the edge is of each cube shape box as one unit. So what it's saying right here is just think of this as a cube unit, right? Because we don't know how much it actually is yet. So what are the dimensions of each display? So this is what it's looking for is the length times width times height. Okay, so if I'm going to start with Carlos, let's start with the length here. So length is 2 times the width. How wide is it? Dark blue and light blue, also 2 times the height. How tall is it? 1, 2, 3, 4 tall. All right, now let's go to Kelly. See if I can pick this up with one hand. There you go. So the length, let me try and show my all my cubes. So four, four long, right? That's my length. My width, again, that's the red and the orange is showing my width or the depth. So that's going to be two. And what's my height? How tall is it? Two. Notice we have two twos and one four. Different configurations though, same format with doing our volume. All right, so D, how many faces and edges does a unit cube have? So just one unit cube. A face is like this flat part here. So how many faces are on a unit cube? I have one, two, three, four. So if I'm just rotating it, I have four. But then I also have the sides, right? I didn't show you the open side or the little knob side. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six faces. And then how many edges do I have? If I'm looking horizontally, I have one, two, three, four horizontal. And then if I'm looking vertically, over here, I have one, two, three, four, but I also have this side, one, two, three, four. So on all of the sides, I have four. So I have four here, four here, and four here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 edges. All right, so how many faces and edges does each display have? So if I'm going to use Carlos, again, faces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, we get each side in the top and the bottom. Let's double check with Kelly's. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So again, along with the unit cube, each display, if it's a right rectangular prism, it should be the same, right? Should have six faces. And how many edges do you think each is gonna have? You're right, if you're finding a pattern, you should be saying 12. Here we go, let's make sure. One, two, three, four, and then the top, 
five, six, seven, eight, and on the bottom, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's double check with Kelly's. Go all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 edges. I'm seeing a pattern. All right, last question. How can you place Carlos's display to make it match Kelly's? Remember, here's Kelly, here's Carlos, and now they look the same. So I would say if you just turn Carlos's on its side, then they would match, right? So turn Carlos on side. All right, that is it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your questions and I will see you back for module five, lesson two.